plaintiff, Amy Pachi, says she raised the defendant by herself. And because she felt guilty about the defendant's father not being around, Amy spoiled her. Amy claimed she sold the defendant a car, but she failed to pay Amy for it, so she's suing. Defendant Ayanna Cardwell says Amy was an amazing mother, but in the past two years, Ayanna has seen a change in her. Ayanna claims recently her mother's been dating younger men, and now she wants to get piercings and tattoos. Ayanna is countersuing her mother for car repairs. Start with you. Uh, Your Honor, I was a single mom, raised Ayanna by myself without any help from her dad. Raised a good kid. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of her. Um, I spoiled the crap out of her, probably because her dad wasn't in her life and I worked a lot. Uh, How so? Tell me, give me some examples. I didn't really know there was a problem, but this is the one that stands out. In 2006, she asked me for a pair of Jordans, mm -hmm. and they were she? expensive. She would have been about 11, 10 or 11. 11, and you bought the $200 shoes? She wanted Jordans really bad, and they Did were coming. Did you buy them? Yeah. Okay, $200? Yeah. Okay. And uh, she wore them one time, and I never saw them again. Okay. In 2014, I saw a change. She started getting serious. She wanted to become a piercing artist. She got her license. She wanted to work toward getting a shop, okay. which she did. All right, you give me some background. First and foremost, me and my mother are very close. I can say that. Mm -hmm. um, my mother was a single mother. Um, she did everything that she possibly could for me. Uh, my father was not in my life a lot. In the last two years, like I've just seen a change in my mother and in our relationship. What type of change? As well. She just started dating like younger men, like men that were close to my age. And How old are you? 22. Um, it was just really weird. Obviously, it didn't work out because they didn't have anything in common. So I didn't really know where she was going with that. Who left who? <laughs> um, I'd assume that he left her. Huh? He left her? Yes. Um, Your another... young man left you? Um, I, I'm not on college campuses trying to find dates. No, a young man didn't, didn't leave, leave me. Him? It didn't oh. work out. You still got it? It didn't work out. Oh. <laughs> she should buy, buy him Jordans. Yeah, that's I guess right. I... You should need to buy him Jordans. That's a good idea. <laughs> no. You can get him a nice jersey Boy, to back get him a basketball yeah. jersey. <laughs> Some tennis shoes. Get the baseball hat and <laughs> turn it to the side. And you'll get him back. <laughs> right? This is very true. There I you agree. go. See, you should consult with her on how to keep a young man. <laughs> go ahead. There's nothing wrong with what mama's doing, but you need to give her some better advice. May, maybe so. Um, another thing is she, out of nowhere, all of a sudden wants a piercing and tattoos. And it kind of hurt my feelings because I started this like five years ago, like straight out of high school, because I was very serious about piercing. I uh -huh. love it. Um, but she didn't want any of that then. So I'm just like, what's changed now? In these last two years, what's got you going, honey, that you want a nose piercing and a sleeve and all of this extra? I'm confused. Nothing to be confused about. <laughs> decided that those older gentlemen were not her type any longer. That's all. Okay, what would that be confused about? I guess so. How about you? Tell me about your relationships on that note. The guys you date, how old are they? My age, so... Did he um, run off with the other? Uh, no. He was about the same age. <laughs> Maybe they ran off together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what happened? You digging at your mother. You think I was going to let you get away with that? I, I, Thank you. And not say anything? Thank you. I've just really been focused on myself. I understand. My what happened to him, though? <laughs> um, he left. All right. I, I guess so. Yeah, ain't Maybe. no guess. You weren't asleep when he walked out, were you? <laughs> <laughs> Defendant Ayanna Cardwell is being sued by her mother, who she claims for the last two years has been dating younger men who are closer in age to Ayanna. All right. What are you suing her for? Tell me about the 3500 November of last year, I sold her my car for $4,000. What type of car? It's what? a Honda Civic. OK, what year? Uh, that car is a 2001. All right. And they have great resale value. OK. And they last forever, and I love them. It was my car. 
All right. Don't talk yourself into Owen. Tell my they last. <laughs> I'm a high, high last forever. Go ahead, last That's forever. Me. What are you suing her for forever? She said she would buy the car for four thousand dollars. If she doesn't remember, please remind her. In our PJs, in my kitchen, eating chicken wings. Okay. She washed her hands and Not signed the promissory wing. note. Okay. Uh, it's Did a year. You told late. the same thing about the car as you told me. Yes. Okay. Good enough. All right. And what happened to the car? Within the first. Well, she told you it would last forever. So what did happen? <laughs> Within the first month, the car did not last forever. Um, uh -huh. I was taking a friend to a show and it broke down. It was uh, the transmission. Transmission in the first month? Yes. Three months later, the engine went out. So to me, that's a new car. Forever. Forever, ever? Forever. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's your counterclaim? Yes, uh, 3500 the transmission and for the engine. All right, and you still have the car? Yes, sir. Uh, Ma'am, can't grant you a judgment because certainly it's supposed to go beyond one month. Therefore, I'm going to um, dismiss your claim and uh, let you keep the car and dismiss your claim because you've repaired it and you're going to keep it. So you just don't have to pay her. All right, good luck to you both.